What's up guys, Everything Apple Pro here. And in this video, for a change, I have some fantastic news regarding the iPhone 8. You know, the last few update videos have been nothing but doom and gloom, negative news, features that were a downgrade from what we expected. So it's really refreshing for me to bring you some good news, something that gets me really, really excited. And with this update, I would like to introduce another iPhone giveaway. This time I will be giving away an iPhone 7. So if you guys want to win an iPhone 7, a 128 gigabyte, none of that 32 gigabyte entry crap. But uh, if you guys wanna win that, go ahead and subscribe and like this video down below and leave a comment. I would appreciate that. You know, I love giving back to you as you guys support me. So another iPhone giveaway, iPhone 7 in any color that you like. Now, also I would like to say I've been giving away everything that I said I have. So I just want you guys to know I am legitimately shipping these to the people that win them as long as you respond. There have been some instances where people haven't responded. But anyways, if you guys wanna win those, like, comment, and subscribe to this channel. Anyways. Let's get right into that awesome update. All right, so to begin, the iPhone 8 design that we wanted to happen, the one that was rumored that we saw in so many concepts and we talked about earlier, the one that wraps around all the way on the bottom, goes up to the top, wraps around the sensor bar, basically the bezel-less iPhone 8 design is going to be happening. And there are a couple points of evidence to support this. So the first one that surfaced today came up uh, via slash leaks. And what it is, is a product manual. It's a piece of paper that comes with the iPhone that depicts a way to remove the SIM card and take a look at that. It's actually got the full screen display shown in that manual. Now, this gives me so much hope because it is so in line with what Apple does. Uh, currently with the iPhone 7 Plus, it's a very, very similar layouts for this sort of image. So included in the packaging of the iPhone, you would see something like this, a packaging inserts with a SIM card ejector tool. Now, yes, Apple doesn't have this tool here in America, but in several other countries they do. When you get a replacement iPhone, for example, that's broken, they will include that in the box. So it's not out of the question that this is from Apple, but the only thing is it could easily be faked. Although I would love to believe that this is real. And here is the example from Vania Geskin where he took it and put it out on a clean spreadsheet here. And it looks very good, very in line with Apple. I want to believe, I mean, this is so in line with what Apple does that it is very exciting to think that this is from Apple. All right, so that is the first supporting evidence of the iPhone 8 going back to the design we talked about earlier, that superior design. So next up is a via Gordon Kelly who works for Forbes. He wrote an article, a very in-depth article about the iPhone 8 and what it's going to be and why the design we talked about earlier, the one with the squared screen, the ugly inferior one, is not going to be happening. Basically, he called it a plan B and that it was scrapped entirely in favor of this design, the beautiful full screen display. So he's actually talking to notice a high-end luxury case manufacturer for the iPhone, and they are actually building iPhone 8 cases already because they are so sure that the design Apple has been planning all this time is the one that is going to be happening. So they're actually putting a lot of manufacturing costs into developing these cases. That's how sure they are. Now, they've also given some more information from supply chain sources about the iPhone 8. So they have confirmed that that design that we talked about in the earlier videos is dead, that it will be getting no headphone jack on the iPhone 8, that it will be getting an L-shaped battery, stereo speakers, basically almost everything we've heard about it, including the four millimeter bezels going around the display is going to be happening, which is fantastic news. I'm so happy to hear that. So we've got multiple sources of evidence confirming that this new design is here to stay. Now both Notice, the case manufacturer, and Gordon Kelly are actually confirming that the top status bar area on the iPhone 8, of course, there will be the sensor bar in the middle, but it will actually show the signal bars in black up top, as well as the battery meter. So this whole area will be off limits to iOS. It'll just be the status bar area, which we sort of knew, but it's good for somebody to confirm it. Now, Notification Center, they say, will not be accessible from the top anymore because it'll be too difficult. It'll be too far up. So to replace that function, they are bringing it to the bottom with a function area. We sort of knew about this earlier, but it will serve the purpose of being easier to access. And it also will be a more detailed notification center here on the bottom. So I'm very curious to see how Apple implement that into iOS 11. And in case you guys were curious what the top sensor bar will be composed of, Makatakara did share this image earlier, which depicted those sensors and what they will do. So three of them will be responsible for iris scanning. One of them will be the FaceTime camera, of course. One of them will be the infrared receiver and one of them, the infrared center. So quite interesting to see what they will actually do as we've seen so much about it, but not what they are individually for. And notice is also confirming that the price of the iPhone 8 will start between $1,100 to $1,200. So those reports we heard in the earlier videos aren't crazy. They're being backed up by multiple sources. So Apple really is creating a huge 
pro line for the iPhone, which the iPhone 8 will fall perfectly into. So if you're willing to spend more money, you'll get a professional edition of the phone. If you don't wanna spend that much money, you'll get the 7S. So an apparent component, the wireless charging pad for the iPhone 8 or possibly the charging pad for it has leaked online. And these are the images of it. Personally, I think it's laughable that it's been shared on so many tech websites as an actual component for the iPhone. So Vinny Agueskin quickly shut this rumor down. He said it can easily be found on AliExpress, Alibaba, DHgate, all those Chinese manufacturing websites that ship in bulk as a component you can add to anything that you want. You can just buy it from them. And some blurry text of iPhone was added to it and reported as news for the iPhone 8. So no, this is not the wireless charging pad for the iPhone 8, although everybody is reporting it to be. So don't be fooled by that. It's actually funny because Apple would never use green silicon. This is used in mostly cheap electronics. Apple for the longest time has been using a very dense bluish blackish silicon color. So this is very lazy. The capacitors are massive. Apple is all about compact, compact wiring, compact logic board, electronics. It would never do something this lazy for wireless charging. So uh, yeah, that is not the wireless charging pad for the iPhone 8. Now bear with me on this one, but the apparent performance performance specs of the iPhone 8 have leaked via a Twitter leaker known as Ice Universe. <laughs> Sorry, I can't help but laugh at that one. But he's saying he knows the performance specs of the iPhone, and it's going to start at 3.0 gigahertz with heterogeneous multiprocessing. Whatever that means, he seems to know it. 3 gigahertz, I think, is a little rich for the iPhone 8. Honestly, personally, I would have predicted maybe 2.5, 2.6. It's not going to be huge over the iPhone 7 Plus. But he also says he he knows Geekbench scores. So it's gonna start between 4,300 to 4,600 for single core score. And for multi, it'll be between 7,000 to 8,500. I mean, that's, uh, that's somewhere in the realm of where it realistically could be. So that's why I think this is nothing more than a guess, as he seems to have no evidence for it, but just thought I'd share that with you. Now, a new report from Makatakar is saying that the iPhone 8 will not launch in the white color at launch. So the white screen protector that I have here probably will be useless, as uh, Apple, for some reason, they don't know why, is unable to inject the white ink into the material of the iPhone 8, and they have no issue with black. It might be something to do with blending the organic LED display with the bezels to create a completely seamless glass experience. Honestly, nobody really knows why. It could be a manufacturing issue. If you remember back in the day, Apple, before they released the iPhone 4 in white, it was such a long time until they got the material right because it kept yellowing. The, uh, the properties just weren't right. So it took them a while to figure out the manufacturing issues before they released a white iPhone 4. And this could be very similar. Before we see a white iPhone 8, Apple may have to figure it out. It may just be a color choice that they don't want to release it, but the iPhone 8 will not come in white at launch. It is unfortunate though, because I was looking forward to a ceramic white iPhone 8. Now in the same report, Makatakara is saying that Touch ID, which was rumored to be in the display at first, then on the back, and now on the side, will surely not be in the power button, as supply chain sources are saying there is no hole in the power button in the chassis of the iPhone to facilitate a Touch ID. So people that were hands-on with the parts are saying, unlikely not going to happen, which is unfortunate because I thought that would be a great way to save Touch ID, but he's even casting more doubt on the fact that Touch ID will come with the iPhone 8 at all. He's saying that supply chain sources are saying it's unlikely it will be with the iPhone 8 at all. So joining more people, more analysts that are saying it's not going to happen. The facial recognition system may indeed replace Touch ID entirely for the iPhone 8. Now get ready for this. The actual naming of the facial recognition via Makatakara may be called Face ID. It's a very simple name, actually, very similar to Touch ID. Face ID may be the trademark of the iPhone 8, something that will eliminate Touch ID completely or have no need for it. It will just be called Face ID. Pretty simple, I guess. Also, Makatakara is claiming the iPhone 8 may have a simple little feature similar to Raise to Wake known as Auto Sleep. So when you set your iPhone 8 down on the table, it might go to sleep and this will be implemented with iOS 11. So nothing special, but just a little feature that they included in the report that I thought I'd share with you. And following up to a leak we talked about a little while ago, Apple has been granted a license to test 5G networks in certain cities in America. So that means 10 gigabit upload and download speeds, which the future iPhone may get, but certainly not this year's iPhone 8. And the Apple Watch 3 is reportedly coming with this year's iPhone 8 at launch. So in the fall, we should see this iPhone as Economic Daily News from China is reporting, talking to Quantra, a company that builds Apple's watches, is saying that they're focusing heavily on the Apple Watch 3 this year, and most of the revenue will come 
from building this device. Although no features are known at this time, it's reported that this device will be coming in fall. So although I love my Apple Watch 2 at the moment right now, it does everything I need. It's waterproof. Battery life lasts two days, which is pretty good. The main concern of the Apple Watch 3 is rumored to be battery life. And Apple is looking to end the reliance on Samsung to produce more organic LED displays as they're actually investing $2.67 billion into LG to produce more organic LED panels now and in the future. So that means it'll help improve production in the future and prices will be lower as this is actually something Apple is investing in and it will get more of a return in the future on. All right, guys, there it is. The latest on the iPhone 8. I'm actually so happy to learn that Apple is not going with the easy way out. Instead, developing the design, the bezel-free design of the iPhone 8 that we wanted all of this time. And in fact, I think it'll even outdo some of the biggest competitors. So we'll have to see how that goes. We've got less than two months. Stay tuned for any more leaks, news, and rumors. But there it is, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Peace.